Imagine a world where Rwanda and Uganda become one, where the lines on the map disappear and the two nations merge into a single entity. A union that could bring about a new era of prosperity and stability for the region. But is it just a pipe dream or could it be a realistic possibility? In this video, we'll take a deep dive into the potential benefits and drawbacks of such a historic merger and explore what it could mean for the people and the future of the region. But first, let's get a bit of context on the history of relations between the two. The history of relations between Uganda and Rwanda is one of cooperation and mutual support. Both countries have a shared history as part of the British Empire and have experienced similar struggles for independence and self-determination. In the post-colonial era, both countries have worked together to promote economic development and stability in the region. For example, Uganda and Rwanda have cooperated on infrastructure projects such as the construction of the Rusumo Falls Hydroelectric Power Station, which provides electricity to both countries. Additionally, both nations have cooperated on regional trade initiatives, such as the East African Community, which promotes economic integration and cooperation among the countries of the region. In the field of diplomacy and international relations, Uganda and Rwanda have also been close allies. Both countries have supported each other's efforts to achieve peace and stability in the region, including through the African Union and the United Nations. Additionally, both countries have worked together to promote peace and reconciliation in neighboring countries, such as the Democratic Republic of Congo. Despite some historical challenges, the overall relationship between Uganda and Rwanda is one of mutual respect and cooperation. Both countries have a shared interest in promoting stability and prosperity in the region, and have a long history of working together to achieve these goals. In recent years, the two countries have continued to strengthen their relationship. They have signed agreements on trade, security, and infrastructure development. The two countries have also signed a Memorandum of Understanding, MOU, on the construction of an oil pipeline that will connect the Hoima oil fields in Uganda to the international market via Rwanda and Tanzania. In conclusion, the history of relations between Uganda and Rwanda is one of cooperation and mutual support. Both countries have worked together to promote economic development and stability in the region, and have a shared history of supporting each other in the international arena. Despite some historical challenges, the overall relationship between Uganda and Rwanda is one of mutual respect and cooperation. They are both committed to promoting stability and prosperity in the region, and will continue to work together to achieve these goals. Rwanda and Uganda are two neighboring countries in East Africa with beautiful shared history and cultural ties. However, the idea of merging the two nations into one country is a complex and controversial topic. One potential benefit of a merger between Rwanda and Uganda would be the creation of a more stable and economically prosperous region. The two countries have complementary economies, with Rwanda's strong focus on service and tourism industries and Uganda's emphasis on agriculture and natural resources. Together, they could potentially form a stronger economic powerhouse in the region. Additionally, a merger would also eliminate the need for border controls and customs, making trade and travel between the two countries more seamless. One of the main benefits of a merger would be the creation of a larger domestic market for goods and services. With a combined population of over 50 million people, a merger would create a market that is more attractive to businesses and investors. This would lead to increased investment in the region, creating jobs and driving economic growth. Another benefit of a merger would be the increased trade between the two countries. By eliminating trade barriers and creating a common market, businesses in both Uganda and Rwanda would have access to a larger customer base. This would lead to increased exports and imports, boosting the economies of both countries. A merger would also lead to increased specialization and efficiency in production. With a larger market, businesses in both countries would be able to specialize in the production of goods and services that they are best suited to produce. This would lead to increased productivity and efficiency, further boosting economic growth. In addition, 
a merger would also lead to increased investment in infrastructure and development. With a larger market, the government would have more resources to invest in infrastructure projects such as roads, ports, and airports. This would improve connectivity within the region and make it easier for businesses to trade and operate. One of the key benefits of a merger would be the creation of a larger and more stable market for foreign investors. With a combined population of over 50 million people, the merged country would have a significant consumer base and a more diversified economy. This would make it an attractive destination for international companies looking to expand their operations in Africa. Another benefit of a merger would be the increased international strength and bargaining power that the combined country would have on the global stage. The merged country would be able to negotiate better trade deals and attract more foreign aid and investment. This would help to accelerate economic growth and development in the region. The merger would also bring significant benefits to the people of both Uganda and Rwanda. With a larger and more diversified economy, there would be more job opportunities and a higher standard of living for everyone. Additionally, a merger would bring the two countries closer together culturally and politically, which would promote peace and stability in the region. Another potential benefit of a merger would be the ability to more effectively address regional security concerns. Rwanda and Uganda have historically had a good relationship and have cooperated on various issues, such as fighting against terrorism and promoting regional stability. As one country, they would be in a better position to address these issues more effectively. One of the most significant benefits would be an increase in economic growth and development. Together, the two countries would have a larger market and a more diverse range of resources to capitalize on. For example, Uganda is rich in natural resources, such as oil and minerals, while Rwanda has a strong agricultural sector and a rapidly growing service industry. Combining these resources would lead to more efficient production, greater export opportunities, and a more robust economy. Another benefit would be an improvement in the standard of living for citizens of both countries. With a stronger economy, there would be more job opportunities and higher wages. Additionally, the merger would allow for the creation of more efficient public services, such as healthcare and education, which would improve the quality of life for all citizens. The merger would also lead to improved infrastructure and transportation. The combined resources of the two countries would make it possible to construct better roads, railways, and airports, which would facilitate trade and travel. This would not only benefit businesses and tourists, but also make it easier for citizens to access goods and services. Additionally, the merger would also strengthen the political and security situation in the region. The two countries have a long history of cooperation and share similar values, which would make it easier to resolve disputes and maintain stability. And merger would also create a larger and more powerful entity, which would be better equipped to deal with regional and international challenges. Despite all these benefits, there would certainly be challenges to overcome. The potential benefits of such a merger would be significant and worth pursuing. One major challenge would be the integration of the two countries' economies. Rwanda and Uganda have different economic systems and levels of development, and aligning them would require significant cooperation and compromise. Additionally, there would need to be a plan in place to address any potential job losses or economic disruption caused by the merger. Another challenge would be the integration of the two countries' political systems. Both Rwanda and Uganda have different forms of government and political cultures, and finding a way to merge them in a way that is fair and just for all citizens would be a significant undertaking. There would also be issues related to language and culture. Both Rwanda and Uganda have their own distinct languages and cultures, and ensuring that these are respected and protected in a merger would be important. Both countries have a history of ethnic tensions and conflicts and it would be important to ensure that these issues are addressed and resolved before any merger takes place. Another major challenge would be the question of how to divide and distribute resources and wealth between the two countries. Both Rwanda and Uganda have their own unique resources 
and economic strengths, and it would be important to ensure that these are fairly distributed among all citizens. Despite these challenges, a merger between Rwanda and Uganda would bring significant benefits. A united East Africa would be able to negotiate more effectively with other countries and international organizations, leading to greater economic and political stability. Additionally, a merger would allow for greater sharing of resources and expertise, leading to faster economic growth and development. Overall, while a merger between Rwanda and Uganda would present challenges, the potential benefits of such a union make it worth pursuing. With careful planning and cooperation, these challenges can be overcome, and the United East Africa can be a powerful force for positive change. Finally, it is worth noting that a merger between Rwanda and Uganda would likely face significant opposition from other neighboring countries, as well as from the international community. It would be important to engage in extensive diplomatic efforts to ensure that any potential merger is seen as a positive development for the region and the world as a whole. So, what do you guys think? Is this idea of a merger between the two countries a hit or a miss? Let us know in the comments. We also want to thank you for watching till the end and please remember to leave a like on this video and also subscribe as our community keeps growing here on Think Rich Africa. See you in the next video.